Hey guys, my name is Steve and welcome to AEAC Vlog. If you're new around here, that's cool, me too. This is actually a sister channel to my primary YouTube channel, the Airgun Exploration and Advancement Channel, otherwise known as AEAC Home. Over there, you will get full in-depth product reviews as well as around the world event coverage pertaining to everything Airgun. But this brand new channel here is my time to be able to get in front of you, slow things down a little bit, and bring you in on the learning, discovery, and approach as I get these new guns in for review and work my way towards a full review of them over on AEAC Home. Now this here is Crossman's brand new Benjamin Fortitude and is without a doubt one of this year's most highly anticipated releases and it is finally here. Today I'm going to share with you what it is and what I've learned about it so far, okay? Now, in a nutshell, as far as I can tell, this is our industry's most reasonably priced, regulated, lightest weight, moderated, and magazine-fed air gun. And that in itself has a lot of people excited. Now, the cherry on top is that the concept behind the Fortitude of course, is to get new air gunners in without them having to spend or invest a large amount of money in compressors and SCBA tanks and that sort of thing. And the whole premise behind the thing is that it's been designed to perform at a high level and to be able to be filled with this here. This is a hand pump. These are available from several different companies. This one here happens to be from FX Air Guns. It's what I have here, so it's what I'm sharing with you. They typically run between 150 and 250 bucks. Then you've got the gun itself, which is a very reasonably priced 300. And then you've got to get yourself a set of scope and mounts and some pellets, and you are good to go. And that has the air gun community very excited. Okay, so what is the Fortitude? So when you get on the forums and you read, or when you go to other YouTube channels, there's a lot of conjecture. Well. I am very blessed on your guys' behalf to be able to work directly with Crossman Corporation. This gun has come directly from them to us for review for you. And I've been working very closely with the product manager over this, Philip Guadalupe. And I'm gonna share with you all the things he's taught with me. He's taught me and then like I said, I'm gonna bring you in on what I've learned so far after having spent a full day with it, all right? so. What is the Benjamin Fortitude? Well, in essence, it is a Benjamin Marauder, Benjamin pistol, Benjamin Marauder pistol upper, right? So it's a hybrid of the two, and it's a Benjamin Maximus or Discovery lower, okay? Well, what does that all mean? Well, the upper here, which is comprised of those two guns, basically takes advantage of a brand new valve, a brand new regulator, a brand new hammer spring, but uses the original hammer from the Marauder and Marauder pistol, okay? The lower here, the cylinder tube and the, uh, the regulator, all right, comes, well, the cylinder tube comes out of the Benjamin Discovery and, Max, and Maximus, the regulator is all new, but this 135cc tube comes directly from those guns. However, this one is designed to be filled to 3,000 PSI, not 2000 PSI, and they've fitted it with a brand new regulator. Okay, now the trigger also is a direct swap over from the Maximus and the Discovery. Okay, looking at the gun from the top down, the thing that completely blows my mind is that with a scope, with mounts, with 3000 pounds of air in the cylinder, this weighs in, as you see it right now, at six and a half pounds. So this thing is feather, feather weight. Now, for those of you, when I put up a video, the first thing you like to bark is that that gun's too heavy. Well, let me tell you, your ship has come in, guys, and this is it. This has gotta be one of the lightest air guns I've ever flung around, and it even comes with sling studs on the bottom. And what that all means to you is that this is going to be most likely an excellent, excellent hunter, because you know as well as I do, one of the toughest things to do is to go out there in the field all day and carry around a heavy gun. It wears you out, you get tired towards the end of the day, you don't shoot as well. Well, 
this is going to be the answer to all your problems if you are one of those. All right, but the gun itself, I measured it at 42 and three quarters or so inches long yesterday. Um, I've spent a lot of time with it, as I've said, and in a nutshell, this is going to be, in 22 by the way, I should recap, it comes in 177, it comes in 22. I do have confirmation from Crossman directly that they are kicking around the idea of a 25. There's nothing concrete yet, they aren't promising it, but um, it is something that they're, uh, that they're considering, all right? But in a nutshell, the 22 caliber is a 17 to 20 foot-pounds of energy gun at the muzzle, okay? And 25 yards downrange, those pellets are striking the target at between 12 and 16 foot-pounds of energy. And of course, this is all weight dependent. This particular one I've got here will push an 18 grain pellet to about 700 or so feet per second and it'll push a 12 and a half grain pellet to about 775 <clears throat> feet per second, all right? Now, Crossman tells us that the gun is good for 80 to 90 shots per fill, and that's circling back to a lot of what's got the air gun community very excited. It's extremely efficient, it's hand pump friendly, <clears throat> right? So you're gonna go through all the work one time, and then Crossman tells us you're gonna get 80 or 90 good shots. I have found that that is the truth if you're going to be shooting the gun at around 30 to 40 feet away, okay? And that's because you're gonna see extreme spreads at 80 to 90 shots, probably in the 40 to 50 to 60 foot per second range, right? Now, if you decide to stay on the regulator, and what that means is that you only shoot the gun um, up until the point before it falls off the reg, and I'm finding that that's 14, 1400 to 1600 PSI um, ish, all right? <clears throat> and if you stay in that range, in my experience, you're gonna get 50 to 60 good shots. And by good shots, I mean with extreme spreads of 25, 30 feet per second, so that you can shoot the gun at 25, 50, and 100 yards and not experience the drop. Once you get past about 30, 30, 35 feet per second, you'll start experiencing drop. And once you start getting past 40, 50 feet per second, even in close extreme spreads, you'll start experiencing point of impact changes. So I just wanted to address that. You know, Crossman's coming from a good place, trying to get people in the air gun, air gun trying to get people, recruit them into the industry and allow them to do it, you know, at a very affordable price and get all of the, a lot of the bells and whistles that you'll see on a high-end air gun and basically create a situation where they can go out in the backyard, have some fun plinking, um, you know, take the gun hunting, go all day on one charge, and I think they've successfully done it here. But being that this is about a 20 foot pound or so um, energy at the muzzle gun, this is probably going to be a 50, 60, 70 yard gun max if you're shooting, you know, things like squirrel and rabbit and this sort of thing, okay? I haven't had it out to those distances yet. I plan to try to shoot this at 50 and 100 yards just like I do every gun that comes through AEAC for review. I don't know how it's gonna perform, um, but we'll definitely drill down on that and we will find out, okay? Now, I wanna to touch on the barrel for a second, all right? This is a 23.3 inch long barrel, which is longer than the Marauder barrel. We talked about how it's kind of a, a M-Rod, P-Rod upper married to a Maximus Discovery lower. Well, the Marauder, if I'm not mistaken, uses about a 20 inch barrel. So they've made the barrel longer and that's why you see the gun, you know, at almost 43 inches long. Well, the reason they do that is the longer you make your barrel, right, the the less air you need to achieve a certain foot pounds of energy. So that is a that that move is a is an is an efficiency increasing move, all right? And it kind of ties into their approach with this gun and trying to make it an all-day hunter or an all-day shooter based on, you know, well, we're gonna find out how long it takes to pump this up from 1500 to 3000 or so PSI. I'll do that in the primary video, but but you know, how much effort it's gonna to take to get out there you know, with a day's shooting and, uh, and be able to enjoy a regulated gun where those shots are very consistent, like I said, for 50 to 60-ish, uh, <clears throat> to right? Now, I wanna to touch on the trigger for a moment. I um, 
was very fortunate in that in 2016, I was able to review the Benjamin Maximus. In 2017, I was able to review the Benjamin Maximus Euro, which is the reduced, um, the reduced uh, foot-pounds of energy version of that gun that's primarily designed for over in Europe, but you can buy it here in the US. I love them both, all right? Now, Crossman tells me that the trigger is the same as those two guns, but I found this trigger to be a little different, all right? I circled back to the manufacturer. I talked specifically to the product manager. He says, no, Steve, it's the exact same trigger. So my guess, because this feels a little bit different than those triggers, is there's probably something going on with the interface between the trigger and the, uh, the hammer and valve, all right? And, and what I'm drilling down on is it's basically heavier, right? I remember those triggers being four or five pounds-ish on the two Maximuses. This one is more like six, seven pounds-ish, and it probably has to do with the way the trigger is interacting with that hammer spring we talked about. And, um, you know, and, and just making it work with the regulator and all those sorts of things. That all being said, I was able to achieve very good groups at 25 yards. As I said, I spent the day with it. I was drilling down on quarter inch five shot groups at 25 with a select number of pellets. So it's not like, you know, it's some huge hang up and it's probably a good idea for, uh, for kitties to have kind of a heavier trigger like that for safety, right? When you bring your youth in on, on shooting. But I just wanted to share that with you. It's an observation I'm making, so I'm bringing you in on it, and I'll and I'll learn more and share more about it as I get into uh, into the main review. But the the safety is manual. To get the stock off, there's one screw here. You got to pull a pin on the safety, bring the safety off, then you can take the stock off. All right. Now I want to touch for a minute on the uh, moderator. The Benjamin Marauders moderator has five baffles in here. This has three baffles in it. It's very simple. You just unscrew it, slide it off, turn it upside down. The three baffles in the spring will fall out, okay? Now, making 20 foot-pounds of energy, right, with just three baffles, you would think it's kind of loud, but because the barrel's longer, because the shroud's longer, this does a wonderful job of quieting things down. Now, I'm sitting here in my living room, all right? Um, very echoey, as you can probably hear, because the kitchen's right behind you, and I'm going to go ahead and shoot this off. All right, now, I don't know how that came to you back home, but to me, that literally sounded like my wife dropped a book, you know, on the table here behind me when she was done reading it. Incredibly quiet gun. All right, so to recap, you know, what Crossman's given us here is for $300, a moderated, shrouded, regulated air gun that's developing good energy is very, very quiet, and to me, that kind of goes down the path of hunter, um, backyard, plinker, shooter. And they've even included some swivel studs. The sling is not included. But, you know, all that's saying is to me is that that's, you know, that's the idea that, that Crossman had in mind. All right now the barrel. I do want to touch on the barrel. The barrel is made in-house by Crossman, as is the rest of the gun. So this is an American-made product. What I found interesting about this barrel at 25 yards, anyway, is that it was very non-pellet fussy, okay? I put about 17 or 18 different types of pellet through it, spent a good part of the day calling it 25, trying to come up with a batch that I felt like the barrel liked. We'll bring, I'll bring those out to 50, you know, when I do the, uh, the primary review, what you'll probably see at home in that review is the top one, two, or three that perform at 50, so I'll go through another culling there. But the takeaway is that the barrel is very non-pellet fussy. Polymag shorts do fit in the magazine. What I found interesting is it actually shot pretty well with the, with the metal mags, but you got to hand load them. For me, the regular poly mag didn't work. I might try them again at 50, because <clears throat> you never know, that's a stability game in the pellet once you start getting out there at, um, at longer distances. Now, I think that's probably all I want to share with you today. I, I basically wanted to address rumor control of what it is, wanted to give you a good overview of what I'm discovering um, that it will probably be for most of you guys at home, and then I'm going to share the rest for uh, uh, for the main review. But before I depart, I do want to tell you, Crossman actually stepped up. Um, for those of you that are um, familiar with my partnership with the Airgun Nation Forum, they're going to let us give this airgun away 
in one of our review discuss episodes over there. I'm planning to do that this month, weather permitting and insects permitting, and um, hopefully we'll accomplish that next week. But thank you, Crossman. You guys are rock stars. And I know um, you care a great deal for, um, for AEAC, AGN, and of course the Airgun community when uh, you let us do that, all right? Now for that review, discuss when Sports Match UK rings in the United Kingdom is going to donate a set of incredibly cool mounts. And JSB Predator is going to donate a 22 pellet sampler. The scope I'm keeping, that was a gift from Tyler Patner over at Pyramid Air and Pyramid Air Insider. Thank you, Tyler. You guys aren't getting that one. This is a Bug Buster 3 to, three to 12. And um, I feel like this is a very good compliment for this rifle. And it is one hell of a cool little scope. So thank you, Pyramid, for that. By the way, you can get these pumps here over at uh, Air Guns of Arizona if you do want an FX pump. So with that, I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you so much for watching. And hope to see you guys again very soon.